Howdy, today we're going to have a look at the CSS resize property that allows our users to resize elements. Here we have a CSS tree and to see the bounds of its container, we're going to give it a background color of HCLA 220, 50%, 50%, 0.5. .5. And now we can see the bounds of our tree. To make that tree element resizable, we can use the resize property with a value of both. But resizable elements only work when the overflow is anything but visible. So let's set overflow to hidden. And now we have a resize handle. And we can drag that around to resize our container. We can also constrain how our resize works. If we only want to resize an element horizontally, we can set resize horizontal. And we can see how the cursor changes to indicate that we have horizontal resizing, but not vertical. To resize vertically, we can set resize to vertical. And now our cursor indicates vertical resizing and we can resize vertically, but not horizontally. And that's it. That's how we create resizable elements with CSS resize. So in review, we can use the CSS resize property to resize an element either vertically, horizontally, or in both directions. But this will only work if the overflow is anything but visible on our element. Thanks for stopping by. Have a play with the demos, let me know what you think below, and hopefully see you on the next one. Stay awesome, people.